Next, we're going to look at the burger menu in the top right corner, where we can see details about the driver, so the name, the site, and also their driver number. We can see that the first three options, bids, bookings, and zones, are just replicated from the main screen, as well as messages, so we've covered all of those already. So we'll jump into driver earnings, and here we can see the earnings of a driver over a period of time, so either the day, the week, or the month. All three contain the number of hours worked, the amount taken in fares, as well as a percentage change from the previous period, and then also the lost revenue from rejecting jobs, and a graph that shows the earnings over time. Going back into the menu, we have the Take Me There feature. This is where you're able to mark yourself as going, wanting to go to a particular zone or location. The system will actively look for work taking you to that particular zone. And you can only use this feature a limited number of times depending on how it's configured in your system. Again, depending on how it's configured, uh, this could give you a pri uh, priority to make you more likely to get a job going to that particular location, provided you are within the dispatch radius required for the job. As you can see, used one out of two so far. When I click back in, it now becomes disable, so I can then disable my request for the Take Me There feature. Next, we have settings. This has the usual settings you would expect, so you have your brightness, your ability to auto adjust the brightness, the dark mode, the ability to change the app into landscape, popular with drivers who use a particular mount that mounts the PDA on its side or potentially a tablet. We have the ability to change the font size, job status by swipe. So effectively, if this is off, they remain as buttons and you can turn on the ability to swipe for arrived and picked up. The speed alert sound is for if you appear to be going faster than the registered speed limit of the road according to Google. We also have devices which relates to your GPS status. This is currently on red because I'm indoors and inside a building with a couple of floors, so it shouldn't be an issue, obviously, in the vehicle. And it would also show any Bluetooth-connected devices, such as card readers or receipt printers. We also have a What's New tab that shows all of the new features, fixes, that type of thing. And finally, we have the Logout button.